Looks like we have a little visitor here scratching his head over what's going on. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. He's looking at our, uh, our Starlinks here. And as you can see, they have oriented both of them to the north. I have a pretty good view of the sky there. Um, those two trees also have no foliage on them. The leaves are gone, which uh, is good for radio signals, that is. Hi guys, here we go with the integration of the Starlink router into a Commander case. Uh, fits nicely right in this spot here. Uh, this unit is actually Velcroed down and when the gateway is mounted on top, I've got a bit of Velcro under it, just the fuzzy side of the Velcro that will push down on top of the gateway, just kind of pinning it in place, um, but also cushioning it so we don't actually damage the Starlink case. The whole purpose here is being able to resort the Starlink system back to the original design um, if we ever wanted to. I don't want to modify it in a way that we can't go back. The only piece that's been modified is the Starlink Ethernet adapter. The connector was cut off the end and I installed an 8-pin shielded. This is actually an avionics microphone connector. It's quite robust. Uh, the other side of it is here on the console. This is the back side and as you see the Ethernet wiring that's going down and into the Starlink router and the blue cable coming out this is the ethernet from the router that would be plugged into the gateway once the gateway is installed in here so that's going to be the next move is to install the gateway and it's going to be looking something like this but with a starlink connector right there and it's going to be pretty easy clean uh quick to deploy you won't have to worry about powering the starlink router it's all tied into the electrical power inside the commander itself. So this is going to be really, really cool. Uh, this unit will be making a world tour very soon. Talk to you later. Okay, there's a tight view of just all the wiring just before I close it up. There's all our cellular antennas as they tie into the gateway. And over on this side, we got the Starlink tucked down in there. We've got our network connections, our LANs up here, Starlink wiring on the top here. All I'm going to do now is put in uh, the SIM extenders so we can change the SIM cards from the top here. Okay, talk to you later. Hi guys, here we are outside. The Commander Gateway set up. Here we go with our gateway with our Starlink input, which I have not connected yet. It's right here. And that connector goes down to a Starlink adapter, which is being used basically so we can maintain uh, the use of the Starlink proprietary plug, which is plugged right in there. There's our Starlink antenna right there. I'll just give a quick view of, there's the cable rolled up just back there and we got our antenna right here. So what we're gonna do is come over here and pop off that cap. We then plug in Starlink. We screw that down. There we go. Now what I got here is these three plastic caps. These are SIM cards and you can install SIM cards for three different cellular networks. These are the cellular antennas. We call them the close quarter stick antennas which mount right to the unit. However, those are removable. There are end connectors that they can be wired out to a larger antenna array, which we also provide called our big guns antenna. Over here, we have a DC power input, 10 to 32 volts. We also have WAN and two LAN outputs. I'll be opening up one of these WAN, the LAN outputs because I'm gonna be running that back inside to uh, monitor what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now switch the power on. And there we go, AC power input 100 to 240 volts AC. So it's a world voltage. And uh, gateways powering up. There we go, we got the blue light on there. And what we have in the center here is actually embedded uh, computer system, fanless. It's actually got three LTE modems inside it 
which these SIM cards are connected to, and these antennas. And it also has now a Starlink antenna. So this is what I call the hybrid solution. Bonding three cellular networks and satellite, Starlink satellite in this case, uh, blending, bonding together to give you a the most resilient, most reliable connection anywhere in the world. You can uh, put the SIM cards in on this particular gateway from your local providers. Up to three different networks. In Canada, we use Rogers Telus and Bell. That's what I'm experimenting with here because I'm in Canada. As you can see, it's quite cold. <laughs> There's a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, in the U.S., we would use Verizon, uh, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Overseas, we've used uh, Vodafone, OT, um, again, T-Mobile overseas in Germany. So here we go. Oh, there we go. Starlink is now firing up and is going into what we call the bird bath position where it's looking straight up at the sky, it's scanning the sky, and it is going to find where their satellites are and optimize its position. Probably gonna tilt a little bit to the right. Um, so that's basically it for now. I'm actually gonna head inside because uh, it's cold out here today and uh, my hand's getting kind of cold holding this phone. Okay, I'll be inside and we will run some tests from inside on the performance and the performance of each modem and the Starlink all bonded together. But yeah, this is the uh, integration of Starlink into a commander gateway for portable uh, and quick deployment. And there's no Starlink router to deal with, no power to connect to our router, external router. Um, it's just basically you just plug it in and away, away you go, turn on the power, one power switch, one power cord, and you've got everything here. This is the hybrid solution, the best of both worlds, LTE and uh, Starlink satellite. So here's the results of the test. I'm running a bonded, blended connection test right now. Our upload reached about 75. And as you can see here, WAN is actually a Starlink. And uh, you can see it blended in there with uh, the cell. Cell 2 is uh, the better of the three providers in my area. It's probably Rogers. I'm close to that tower, so you see a lot of green. So that's quite interesting. Now down here, the three of them really kind of stacked up the carriers. Um, there's Starlink down there was providing about 60 it looks like and then everything else blended in. We reached a speed of over 200 on the download with the three modems blending together. Um, quite impressive. Uh, yeah, very good. Hi guys, this video demonstrates access to the WAN port. The WAN port on the surface is not being used because we have Starlink system built into this gateway. Um, basically remove the two screws holding in the SIM extender plate and carefully lift that out as you see these very delicate ribbon cables connected. And down inside here, the yellow connector right here is the WAN port and I'm disconnecting it. That's actually from the Starlink. And there is the WAN port for direct connection to an internet connection. This is only to be used in the case where we can't uh, use the Starlink for whatever reason. Possibly um, there's no Starlink in that area and we need to access the unit through the WAN port for doing a software update. Okay, take care. Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to show how to stow the Starlink antenna. Right now, the Starlink antenna is deployed and operational, but when you're done, you're going to want to stow that antenna so you can pack it away. And what stowing means is the antenna folds down up against the mast, the base, so that it can be put away into its travel case. In order to do that, we look for, and you only use this access point to stow the antenna. It's called Skunk Works. You go to Skunk Works, connect to it. You can do this with a computer through Wi-Fi on the same network, or you could also do this um, with the Starlink app, which I'll also demonstrate. 
uh, go and do uh, one, 192.168.100.1 is the IP address of the antenna and it'll actually flip over to Dishy Starlink and you will see this option coming up here and you go into settings and down at the bottom here there is a setting called stow and when I click on that you will see the antenna oh, I just have to acknowledge it okay there we go the antenna then folds down and that's all there is to that okay in this uh, second video I'm going to show how to do this with an iPad or it could be an iPhone it could be an Android device I basically just downloaded did a fresh download of the Starlink app set the Wi-Fi to skunk works and go into settings here and stow right there and it's gonna confirm that and it go over and there it goes it just stowed that's all there is to it okay so to pack the Starlink away there is a release right here which uh yeah, push like that and it comes off like that. I'd like to also show you, flip it around, and the cable appears to be permanently mounted right into the antenna, but that is not the case. This just slides right out, and there you go. So the cable, we're going to wind that up with the antenna and the stand. And that's all going to go into this beautiful travel case, which is actually a backpack. Anyways, we'll pack that in and I'll be right back. So there we have the stand packed in the packing case. And this bag is the cable nicely packed away. And all we have to do is put the antenna itself, which is right here. And that just drops in nicely like that. So there you go, and that's it. And this folds down on top to protect it and close up the case, zip her up, and there you go. You're all ready to climb up the mountain. Apparently this will be tested in the Alps. That's where it's headed next. Check this out, guys. That spot in the travel case is where the router goes but the router is in the gateway. So that spot is open and available. Well, guess what? The stick antennas can't go in the gateway because we don't have a holster because we have SIM extenders. But guess what? They fit perfectly right in there. Look at that, they don't even move. It's like they're exactly, the hole is the exact size. Really cool. That is, uh, I love when things come together like that. Perfect fit. It's like it was designed that way. Really cool.